What's going on? In this video, I'm gonna give you a mini chat template tour of a messenger bot that we created called the Evergreen Webinar. Now, if you wanna get this messenger bot, then all you gotta do is go to bit.ly slash MC templates. That's bit.ly slash MC templates, and you can browse all the different templates that we have. If you have not yet gotten our free mini chat cheat sheet covering the 11 crucial features that your mini chat bot must have, then go to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet, and we'll send it to you in a Facebook message. So make sure that you're logged in to Facebook Messenger. Now, we are about to jump into this mini chat template tour. So let's get going. So here we are in ManyChat, and we are in the growth tool section. As you can see, this is a Facebook ads JSON growth tool. Now you can easily change this. Once you get the template, then you can easily change this by hitting replace and then finding this opt-in message sequence and then just choosing that. So you can go with the bar growth tool, you can go with the modal, you can go with the messenger ref URL. All those kind of growth tools are available if you just hit replace when you're setting up that growth tool and then select this opt-in message. So we're gonna jump into here and when they jump into this growth tool, they're gonna be sent this message. It's gonna say, hey there, did you wanna register for the, and then you're gonna to wanna to insert your webinar name right there. And they're gonna click yes, let's go. And it is going to subscribe them to this sequence, the template dash evergreen webinar sequence, and it's gonna start this flow. So the next message they're gonna receive after they click yes, let's go is gonna be awesome. If you want us to, be, to email you the webinar link as well, then type your email in right now. So the email is optional, right? If they wanna type in no thanks, then they just type in no thanks, it's gonna hit them with this message right here saying, enter your email address or click the skip button and it's gonna give them an option saying skip or their email address. It's gonna already kind of be pre-filled in there because Facebook is gonna pull their email address. So if they don't wanna enter their email address, then they'll click skip. If they do enter their email address, then you can set up a Zapier automation for when this form field right here, email, is filled in, Zapier will see that form field being filled out and it will send that information over to your email software like MailChimp or ConvertKit or whatever software you're going with. So after that whole step is done, then they're gonna be hit with this GIF right here from friends and it's gonna say, yay, you're all set. In a few minutes, you're going to receive a confirmation message with the link to the webinar, so get ready. So again, this is an evergreen webinar, so this means that you've already pre-recorded this webinar, you've put it in a video, embedded it on a landing page, and then you're gonna send them the link to the landing page. So that is pretty much it for this little section right here. Then what we have, like I mentioned before, they are added into that sequence, so I'm gonna show you how that sequence plays out and why it mean why it's saying you know you're going to get the link in a few minutes. So here we are in the automation section under sequences and we're in our sequence template dash evergreen webinar sequence. So when they clicked on that yes I'm ready to go button, remember how that added them to the sequence? Well that started a 3 minute timer. So you can easily change this from three minutes to two minutes to one minute, whatever you want, but basically that started that timer and while that time was running down, we asked them that optional question, hey, do you wanna give us your email address? So usually you know, we're estimating about three minutes for them to read that message, give us their email address, and then we're sending them that response with the GIF of the friends GIF and then that other message. And then you know, roughly if three minutes have passed, then they're gonna receive this message right here, this webinar follow-up number one, and then a day later they're gonna receive this message and this message, this message. So I'll show you all these different messages and how we built that out there, but um, let's go ahead and jump into it now, I guess. So after they receive that friends GIF with the message, then it's gonna say, again, thank you so much for registering for my free, insert your webinar name, click the button below now to watch the webinar. So when they click this, it's gonna go to whatever you link it to. You can also add in a tag. So if you wanted to put like clicked to webinar, click to watch webinar or something like that so you can start segmenting your audience and organizing them, then that's great. But hopefully majority of the people are then gonna click that 
and go over to start watching the webinar. Now, a day later, they're gonna be followed up with this message. So it's gonna say, hey there, and you can also put in their first name just by clicking here and then hitting these little parentheses and you can say, hey, first name, if you'd like. In case you haven't yet watched my your webinar name, click below to watch it now. So you're following up with them, you're reminding them that, you know, hey, did you watch it? Did you com complete it? What do you think? You know, if you did watch the webinar and you want to schedule a free discovery call with me, then click the button below now. So you're linking them over to the webinar. Again, you can tag it if you'd like. And then if they have watched the webinar, then you link in your calendar booking, you know, whether you're using Schedule Once or you're using Calendly, there's a whole bunch of softwares out there. But then you get them to actually book a call with you. So that is day number one follow-up message. And then the next day after a day passes, we remind them again, we say, hey, did you watch the webinar? Because people need nudging. People <laughs> need to be reminded. So it's like, hey, if you haven't yet watched my webinar, here's the link once again below. I'm getting a ton of requests for free discovery calls. So if you're interested in booking a call with me, now that you've watched the webinar, click the button below. So same buttons as before, you know, you're linking them over to the webinar and then you're linking them over to schedule a call with you. You can easily add tags, you know, if you want to add a tag here uh, called clicked to book call or something, then you can go back into your audience section, look at all those tags and maybe send them a private message if you notice that people click to book the call but then they didn't actually book the call. You can easily see in the audience section under tags, you can see their first and last name. You can then look at your people who have booked your call and see if they booked or not and follow up with them manually by shooting them a message. So a day later after that message, after that message is sent, and again, you can change these time frames. It doesn't have to be a day. It could be 24 hours, I mean, it could be 20 hours, 15 hours, a couple minutes, it could be several days. Uh, you can change the time period, so send between, only send between noon and 5 p.m., you know, whatever you want to do, or if you want to make it only send on Mondays, then you can do that. So then we're going to hit them with a little did you know fact. So we're going to say first name, did you know, and then you're going to want to insert a heavy hitting fact that relates to the problems people have which your product or service solves. So you're kind of giving them a little bit of content, you're being a little bit salesy, you're giving a little bit of benefits of how you solve that, how you address that problem. There's a little bit of a typing delay for 20 seconds. Then you hit them another friendly reminder that they need to book a call with you. So you only have 72 hours left to book your free discovery call. So click this button right here, book a call with me, and, uh, and let's get it going, let's talk, right? So there's that message following up and then you have another call reminder which is basically 48 hours now but first instead of just jumping right to it and saying hey let's get that call booked you're giving them a little bit of value you're chatting them up a little bit you're saying hey i wanted to share a life-changing experience with you that i had so you can do a little bit of like a short story maybe add some social proof maybe of how you were with a client and how uh, before you were working with them they were going through these problems then you started to work with them and then they have this amazing transformation or you can talk about your transformation story. So you can kind of add this in there. And then you want to remind them that they only have 48 hours left to book this call. So you link over to your call booking software and you remind them to book that call. Now 24 hours left reminder. You can jump in here. You can easily add a GIF if you wanted to to this to break up the text a little bit. So you would just select image, you'd throw that in there. We added in a little bit of a typing delay just in case they are, you know, they have their messenger open and they can kind of see, oh, she's about to send me a message or he's about to message me. And so it's just a little bit of variety. You know, chances are they're not gonna have their, their phone's gonna be sitting on the table and then it's just gonna go, go off and hit that notification sound, you know? So now you're just saying just a final reminder you don't want to miss the opportunity to book a free discovery call, so click the button below now. You only got 24 hours left, so book the call right now. <laughs> so this is your final notice. Now, you don't want to come off too desperate with so many calls. I mean, you, it's up to you if you want to add another message at the bottom here saying, 
you got five hours left. You got three minutes left. You know, it's up to you if you want to get very granular. And, and also, you can change these time frames. If you don't want to give them 72 hours notice, you can say, hey, this is your 48 hour call notice. And then maybe this one, this 48 hour turns into a 24 hour. And then maybe you change this 24 hour to just saying, hey, you got you got six hours left, eight hours left, book the call, or you're dead to me. <laughs> just kidding, don't say that. Um, so yeah, that is the Evergreen webinar, ManyChat template. Again, they opt in through either a Facebook ad using the JSON growth tool, or they opt in using your Messenger ref URL link. Uh, they get sent that message saying, hey, uh, did you want to that confirmation message saying hey do you want to join the webinar great what's your email address we can get you opted in there too um, you know you can make that required or you can make that optional completely up to you all you got to do to make that required is just delete that skip button and then they are joined into this sequence this follow-up sequence pushing them to watch the webinar and pushing them to book that follow-up call with you so hope you learned something again if you want to get this template right here. There's a link in the description as well as if you visit bit.ly slash MC templates or that's bit.ly slash MC templates. And one last time, if you have not yet picked up our 100% free cheat sheet going over the 11 crucial many chat messenger bot features that you must have then go to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.